What's going on my broskies? My name is Todski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and we're returning with some more Garp Challenge content and today we are going to be moving on up to the Dex team. Now this is the team that we're going to be running today. Now as you guys may have seen in my previous video, if you guys have already ran this challenge before, you guys would know that normal attacks only is quite a prevalent thing in this fight. Which with a lot of the other Garp Challenges, literally with like Dofi, Revolutionary, Whitebeard, Anel, Navy, you could use V1 Kaido to clear it. Because normal attacks only basically was non-existent. However, a little bit different this time around is that you can't cheese it with Kaido. Uh, technically, you can. I have seen some teams go ahead and use Brook as a captain. They die, they revive, and then normal attacks only is gone. That is a valid strategy, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go ahead and use a team that was just going to beat down on these bosses. And we're able to do that going ahead and utilizing... The brand new super type Zora, who is a really, really cool unit. Unfortunately, one of the big things with dex teams in general these days on global is that a lot of them are orb boosters. Like a lot of the good units you want to use are all orb boosters and you can't really beat content just with a bunch of orb boosters. You do need other types of boosts in order to win, which is why we're using a very, very key support in having Frankie attaching to Luffy and Law, giving our whole team a uh, 1.4 times attack boost when we launch their special. So we get an orb boost and an attack boost upon launching that special there. We got Bonnie to get rid of Threshold, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, Akainu is also really good. You guys may have seen videos in the past, me using the Zoro character with Akainu as a sub. This limited rare recruit Akainu is ridiculously good. I believe he was the one that came out with a Kazuna Clash, and he just gives you a full board of Dex Orbs, he gives you a Chain Lock, he gives you an Attack Boost. Like, he's just a perfect accompaniment to this Zoro character. Vivi Rebecca also making an appearance again because of amazing utility. 2.5 Chain Lock every single turn. Also very nice. Plus, you get lots of health recovery as well. And then, of course, we're using the Liberal Hind because we've got a Slasher Captain. And if you've got a Slasher Captain, Liberal Hind is a really, really good choice. But uh, I guess that's the quick rundown of this particular team taking on this Garp Challenge. So I guess uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and explore this team a little bit more and how it actually beats the content. All right, so going ahead and jumping into this video. First of all, um, the main first obstacle that we'll have to get around is going to be Hody on stage two, which, of course, if he attacks you, that's when he's going to go ahead and inflict the uh, four turns of attack down. Now, for this particular team, we definitely want to make sure that we're able to avoid that attack down because we're going to be killing the stage after that as soon as we possibly can. And if we get inflicted with that attack down, it's going to be pretty hard to kill that stage three in a timely manner. Um, this team does a much better better job at clearing stage three than the previous team that you guys may have seen on the channel which was using versus Kaido where I just kind of hoped that I landed on the right slots whereas this team it has a more efficient way of getting around it which is really good but of course Hody Jones can be on a one or a two turn cooldown so if he's on a one turn cooldown and you want to avoid that attack down you want to make sure you can kill him first um Hody on this stage only has 1.5 million health so he's pretty easy to take down and these guys at the front row they give you uh it's like two turns of special reverse but um, after the attack goes through, it ends up only being like one turn of special reverse, so it's not really that big of a deal. But this stage is where we're able to kill this guy a lot quicker than we did previously. Now, we are running Luffy and Law on the team, which is a really great unit for this particular stage, because every time you use their switch effect, it allows their own normal attacks to bypass enemies' defensive effects. So by allowing that, we have Luffy with a matching slot, he has a two times attack boost on himself, and we have a color affinity boost from Zoro's super type, and that is way more than enough damage that we will need in order to take down Hammond here, who only has two million health, and then the uh, surrounding Fishman characters we can take down as easily as we like, again using the switch effect of Luffy and Law to enable us to get around those defensive effects very, very easily. So yeah, this stage wasn't too bad at all. Uh, moving on though, we have the stage with uh, Hyozo and also Vanderdecken, where we get poisoned, and uh, with that particular stage, we are using the the Sanji, the 20th anniversary Sanji, to help us remove that poison for us, which is great. Um, and of course, unfortunately, we do get inflicted with that normal attacks only, man. Like, normal attacks only does make this stage a little bit more difficult, um, because you can't really cheese it or anything. It just would have been nice to have Zora's buffed captain effect, where every time we enter a new stage, the enemy's health gets cut by 20%. Having that would be extremely useful, but, you know, it is what it is. We have to run through it with a little bit of a different uh, team 
combination as, uh, you know, compared to just the other variations of the Garp challenge here. But of course, the switch effect of Luffy and Law granting them the, the attack boost. We have the switch effect of Viva and Rebecca granting us that 2.5 times chain lock every single turn. And then with you when you have the Liberal Hind, you have the switch effect of Viva Rebecca, and you also have auto healing. Healing 4,000 health per turn is pretty ridiculous, and it does really, really help out, um, especially because, uh, you know, it, depending on the situation, what type of team you're using, you may have to take a little bit of damage, and having that health back is very, very nice. Um, here we have Zio and Dosun. Dosun with 4.5 million, Zio with 3 million uh, HP, and uh, we have to deal with the threshold. So we're using the Bonnie to get around the threshold. We get a full board of recovery slots using the switch effect of Luffy and Law to make sure that Law has type advantage against Dosun once we get to him and uh, Law just doing a lot of damage against him but the thing about Dosun is that he attacks on turn three he's always on a three turn cooldown which means it, it, it's kind of nice because when Dosun attacks he hits like really hard like over 50,000 damage he does to your team so having the ability to just take your time with him is great um, Zio though on turn Two, I believe it is. Uh, he gives you paralysis for three turns. So you want to kill Zio first and then focus your damage, you know, have a few turns to take down Dosun. Um, he's not really too tricky, but ideally what I would suggest if you are running any team on this particular uh, Hody challenge is on this stage with Dosun, try and leave this stage with as many matching slots as you possibly can because after you kill this stage and move on to the next stage, they're going to be put into a slot barrier. So whatever slots you have moving into that next stage, they're going to be kept until you hit a perfect and you are going to be inflicted with burn. So unless if you have a way to get around the burn, which with this particular team, we actually don't. Um, and ideally, we would have liked to have gotten a few more matching slots here. But all we're doing is, is we're using the Luffy and Law special ability, which grants us a 2.5 times orb boost. And then we have the support of Frankie to give us a 1.4 times attack boost to our characters. So if we had more matching slots, it actually would have been pretty good. So we didn't have too many matching slots here, unfortunately, but... Um, with the matching slots that we did have, taking down the, uh, what's his face, Daruma is, uh, is very, very easy. And then uh, we are just going to be taking a little bit of time just to stall off that burn. We want to leave when the burn is on a two-turn cooldown, because that will mean that uh, when we move into the next stage, uh, we won't have to deal with it, basically. Uh, but realistically, we could potentially, like, just kill when the burn is on a one-turn cooldown, but essentially, we want to try and get rid of this slot barrier. Um, I really didn't want to deal with that at all, so living when the burn is on a two-turn cooldown is super ideal, because we are going to have, essentially, a free turn against Hody, where we can um, get rid of that nasty slot barrier. And then, essentially, after we kill this stage, we just use Akainu, we use the Zoro, and then we use the Vivi Rebecca to get rid of the defensive effect, because we are taking one turn of stall off on the Hody stage, because he does special reverse us so in order to get around that we're just stalling one turn after one turn he puts a rainbow shield on himself but with viva rebecca it removes all rainbow and all blue shields on the enemy so they're a perfect unit for this particular fight and then obviously just launch the specials and off you go pretty easy actually very very comfortable team for getting through this particular fight despite the fact that normal attacks only is present don't really have too many issues getting through this fight at all but that is going to wrap up this video today thank you so much for watching and if you guys did enjoy make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.